Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Morning, Mr. Yu. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you.
Sybil, 495, science class operator. Welcome, more than you. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan, finally. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. All right, here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double Speaker check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready.
Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Not your problem, right? Almost done. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032.
Representing a money 20, 20, 19, 19, 19, 60. Please select a fabrication plan. Please take your item from the tree. Please 
take your eye with a filthy trick. It must be. Now your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? 